Hello YouTube, I have a uh, video for you guys here about installing this Arctic 7 CPU cooler into an LGA 775 CPU socket. This isn't an unboxing, obviously because I already took it out of its box. I'm just going to cover how to put it onto the CPU here. Um, so first off, you're going to notice this black mounting bracket. And what happens is this actually goes down on the motherboard first. That's the first thing you have to worry about. So, you take these little uh, tan colored tag things, and there are three different holes in here. You want to insert the one closest to the center so that the edge of the, uh, the thing is right up against the edge of there. Just keep that for all four of these. Put this damn thing with focus. Oops. Drop one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what you do is you put it on your motherboard. Now, in the manual, it shows these screw holes being closest to the top of the motherboard, but you don't want it like that. You want it so that the screw holes are oriented like so. And you just push these things down to each of the holes. They don't snap in quite yet, so it's you know, not going to offer any resistance. Now, you take these little black tabs you have here, you in insert them into the top of each of those tan tabs. It shouldn't make a click, but it kind of firmly inserts. And that's it for the mounting installation. That's in there nice and tight, not going to move anywhere. Now, you're going to want to make sure your CPU is nice and cleaned off in the top, uh, because this cooler does come with thermal compound on the bottom, already, um, already applied. Make sure you don't accidentally touch that or anything. Um, now, to install it, you have to take the front fan off, and that's a pretty easy process. You just got to pull open this tab here. And pop the front off easy with just a heat sink, which case, at which point that goes directly down on top of the mounting bracket. And then what you do is you take your screws, and if you have two of them here, and you put them into each one of the holes. And you have a screwdriver and screw these in. And when you insert the CPU uh, heatsink on top of the CPU, make sure you don't insert all because then you move it side to side, it might actually scrape off some of the uh, compound onto the uh, edges of the CPU and that'll get messy. Okay, well that's nice and firm, just gonna double check that. Now time to plug in the fan. Oh, just put it in the front of the heatsink. It's pretty self-explanatory, just line up both the tabs. If you line up vertically properly, it should just snap right on there. Make sure both the tabs are actually aligned. Oops, I hope I don't have a confliction here with my uh, onboard graphics unit thing here. So I might. That's good on that side. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Now, definitely do not forget to plug it in to your, um, to your uh, CPU. Plug, fan plug, that is. On the motherboard which every motherboard has, that isn't 15 years old. Okay, and that's, that's it for in installing this uh, Arctic 7 CPU cooler. This is the revision 2 of the CPU cooler. I actually bought one of these about three years ago, and it was a revision 1, so it was a bit different. It actually had the, um, actually held, had the old LGA. Type the of, annoying design. Yeah, where it just has these tabs you have to push down. That, that was a complete pain. But this is actually pretty painless, and I really like it, so, um, um, this cooler is pretty good. I'm going to use it for overclocking the CPU without it getting too hot. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you later.